Howdy dowdy. It is your host, Private Patton, here for another installment of the Millennium Fastlane episode number 10. So, um, I know I missed last week, and I apologize about that. So we're going to kind of go over quickly here. So uh, the current week, the one that we just got done with was Daytona. This is race week number 13. We're going to kind of rewind a little bit and go into... Uh, race 12. So, uh, Bass Buck was on pole. And then you can also see all the people that I did put in times. Packers, uh, Cyber, Brandon, Xander, e the usual suspects you see up here. Um, there was a couple that did uh, do hot seats. However, only one person actually was able to make it, and that was Dakota. Um, so because of that, um, Iowa was one of those tracks you could definitely tell the people that were running a looser setup. The ones that aren't quite used to that level of looseness um coming out of the corners especially off a of turn four um that one caught out a lot of people there was a couple cautions but nothing too crazy um except for when it came down to a green white checkered uh that's when things really happened so yeah this was the qualifying order so bass was up there as well as then the race goes to right here this is Xander coming out on top. Uh, Xander was able to uh, get it all done right there. Plus, uh, Nathan got his first podium up at uh, Iowa here, so good job that. Uh, UK was able to take P3, and then Bass, the pole sitter, was able to take P4. Um, the biggest uh, people to look out for was Justin Shackett, uh, or sorry, Justin Shackett down here. Uh, he was looking strong in the beginning part of the run, but he got screwed over early, so he came and made a recovery drive. Um, and then, but also you see that Cyber down here in P5. Cyber in P5, you know, they're still uh, not quite as bad as uh, him finishing P8. I do believe that I was at Michigan, if I recall correctly. So yeah, that is definitely a lot better than what um, it could have been. Uh, he was able to get a P5 out of that. But also uh, BD, uh, B Wright, Brandon, these two um, did also another recovery drive. They got um, into a couple wrecks and had to go from the back to the front. So they were able to rally back for a ninth and 10th there. But yes, um, the usual suspects up here, uh, Packers as well, having a good race. Good show from them. So let's go into uh, Daytona here. Uh, Daytona was one of those tracks, I'm not even gonna lie, uh, it was a caution fest. Uh, it, we had a record-breaking number of people in the race. Uh, you can just see, as we kind of just go through the field, there is 24 drivers turning up their engines for this race. So there was a lot of tension, there's a lot of momentum, there's a lot of cars to navigate when you are on track. So, because of that, 24 cars was a lot of uh, people getting in all set so as of the pace laps going right now let's go into the uh qualifying so cyber was actually able to get on pole and it was very close over three one thousandths of a second over brandon and p2 uh goose actually uh matches his best qualifying in p3 so good job <laughs> golf clap from him um so yeah, Goose was able to get uh, a P3 qualifying spot. D's, uh, we had two custom hot seats here. Uh, D's and Trump Train uh, were both uh, making their first cup starts for this week. And they were uh, starting P4 and then last, respectively. Uh, we did also have a couple people uh, turn up their engines very last minute. Um, so you will be able to see them in there. Mainly that of uh, MH. Uh, MH is going to be in here. He's going to be piloting the number 34 uh, K-Love. No. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the Love's uh, Ford Mustang. And you're going to see him in the background. In fact, actually, that's him right there. Right there. Yep, that's it. So because of that, um, we have a lot of... Um, we have a lot of... Uh, returning people some people that you may recognize and other people making their second third starts of the season um so because of that um you see like rockstar in the field you see uh, even napa fan turned up his fan, um turned up his engines he's not he's right here um p cole was not able to make it uh like i said so there is a lot of people that only run super speedways baseball kid uh also made his custom hot seat he wasn't on here because he was also a last minute 
Um, but yeah, there's a lot of people, 24 to be exact, that turned up their engines for this race. And like I said, not going to lie, it was not the prettiest. Um, as the uh, race starts here, the opening couple laps are really good. You, like, you can see the top side. Look at that. Like This is T-Bird in like close to the uh, edge right there. This is, yeah, right there. That is a lot of change going on, but there is a lot of clean racing in the beginning part of this run. So like I think it I think it just came with a momentum shift that people uh, decided it was like okay, now it's time to start getting into uh the thick of it here and people just kind of lost patience because there was a lot of people that were like hitting the bottom with it being on the bottom of the track. People were hitting the apron a lot. I have no idea why that was such a big deal. But yeah, there's a lot of people that were actually uh, hitting the apron. But yeah, the beginning part of this run, uh, you can see uh, the top side trying to form. People were solidly on the top and actually running on around. And people obviously here on the bottom, you know, the bottom did prevail. We actually, in uh, for this cup race total, to kind of skip ahead a little bit, we actually had a lot of people... Um, lead laps that normally don't lead so it's a good job from that you can see a lot of people uh kind of be on around here because like look at this um like right here this is i wish it kind of was like this this entire run you can see the people that obviously lost a draft you know it that happens in um in any play track with uh people eventually someone hitting the wall or something like that but i wish it stayed like that this entire race but and unfortunately it didn't and because of that we have um cautions after cautions after cautions um kind of skipping ahead a little bit you can see that um and honestly there's really no no point in even talking about it in great extent because it was all about the short run speed so like it was all about making sure that you can make it to the next caution. Um, and you were taking tires, taking two tires, taking enough gas to make it there. So you can see a lot of people that were the benefit of this and a lot of people that weren't. Um, to kind of skip ahead a little bit. Just, also just to show you exactly kind of what was going on here. Um, apron. You kind of saw in the background right there. Apron 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 people bouncing off each other and then all of a sudden and then it's just going in yeah it, it was it, that that pack was like you can just see how it just stopped forming right there so yeah to kind of just show like what exactly happened Xander actually got into um a bit of an accident and was um put on the pit road however um, a caution came out literally as that happened. So, like, I don't know what exactly happened. But, yeah, there is, like I said, really no point in talking about it because it was just caution after caution after caution. So, um, but you can see the uh, glimpses of what it could have been, you know. So, um, to kind of skip ahead a, a, a fair bit, uh, we had our first DNF right there. Yeah, that was also another big thing right there. Um, is uh, Trump Train uh, unfortunately lost power or something like that and he uh, ended up uh, having the DNF out of this race we're going to lose one more person by the end here and because of that we have well like I said a lot of people just running towards the short run and we're going to kind of skip ahead here um, Brandon as well also lost power um I do believe, yep, right here. Um, Rockstar was able to take the lead here. Xander somehow, um, I think he kind of let up for his team, um, for his um, drafting partner of Cade right there. But we're going to see that towards the end of this run, it was all about making sure you guys got into position here because, um, I, like I said, you can just see right now caution after caution after caution. Skipping head, uh, skipping head a lot of it um, here. This is the going into two laps ago. This is overtime, and right now you can see that people are. Well, you did not want to be on the outside, and because of that, you have the 19. Okay, that looked suspicious from this POV, but I'm gonna rewind, and there was actually another, um, another POV because right there, Cade. Uh, checked on up and y it doesn't quite look it but the 19 is actually underneath him right now he, um he 
kind of gets that run. He goes up top again. See? So the 19 actually backed it on out for the first time. That's why he uh, went off. See? Like, okay, right there. You can see that he kind of backed on off. And that's why he lost a little bit of ground. But the 20 looked like he wanted to make a move, then kind of second guess it. But the 19 was already there. This is coming to the white flag, folks. So. And then the 20 just kind of forced there. And the 19 is just like, no, I'm already on the bottom. And from there, 19 was able actually able to do that. That puts the 8 back there. The one you can see of Xander is now in the middle of three. This is coming to the wipe. Uh, this is a caution ends it. And you saw the little bit of uh, mishaps in the back right there. The 20, unfortunately, gets put into the sucker hole. And that right here is the caution. That ends the race. So um, <laughs> look at that. Um, the 34 was actually able to make a podium. So to kind of go ahead uh, and go into this... Um, Yes, you can see right here that Rockstar was actually able to make it. And he's he really is so good at play tracks. It, it's like not even fair. <laughs> I guess that's the word uh, to call for it. Um, but yeah, Rockstar uh, um, was able to win the race here. And pivotally, in terms of the championship and just where he was in points, he was on the cut line ready to be relegated should he miss another race and now technically even though he won a race now he's still not out of it he's still not out of the thicket yet uh rockstar was um he did show up and he was able to win and gain max points 180 points is the most you can get per race good job rockstar got it perfect uh, Nathan, P2, back-to-back -back P2, so that in race 12 at Iowa and now race 13 at Daytona, he's looking for a win now to kind of elevate that and get into P1. MH in his first ever race, podium. <laughs> BD was able to re um, to uh, reinvigorate himself, uh, kind of motivate himself back up and get a P4 out of it. Napa in his fourth, sorry, I do believe. Um, got a P5, Xander P6. However, as we kind of look on down, um, like I said, people that don't usually lead a lap actually was able to uh, lead a lap here. Um, NRG was able to lead a lap. Piper was actually able to lead a lap. Uh, the Pied Piper, you know, so, so good at um, super speedways. Um, he was actually able to lead a lap and get five bonus points, and you're going to see how that is going to shake on out with the points later. But however, as we kind of go down this list here, you don't see a name that is usually up here. That's because um, as we go on down, all the way down to 21st is Cyber. Uh, Cyber got screwed out of um, a really good position. He, he started on pole. Same thing with Brandon here. Um, he was he lagged down out. Cyber uh, just got shuffled back and with caution after caution after caution he wasn't able to make his way forward and because of that i think he was actually part of the incident that brought out the final yellow for the race so that is a p21 his first ever non-top 20 finish for the season and uh if we look to the points now um that's that what why that's so important is uh the gap went from 220 points to now 173 to, uh, to Xander right now. Um, BD was actually able to take a spot there. Goose, uh, US Track Enterprise, I didn't really talk about him much, um, but despite a P14 finish, most of his championship rivals uh, that he was around uh, did not do that much better. So he was actually able to gain a spot and Piper as well with a solid finish of P11 as well as leading a lap and gaining a, um, 135 points total for the day. He was able to snag a P6 out of this, so good job. Consistency is key. Packers as well. Uh, despite being not so good at uh, play tracks, uh, so says himself, he has uh, come out P7, uh, lost a spot to Piper. However, he gained a spot on Basswalk, who did not show up, and that is why he lost three spots right there. Nathan, with back-to-back uh, -back second place, was able to gain a spot to P9. UK, uh, with a 12th place finish and 127 points total, was able to, uh, well, lose a spot to Nathan, who just plain out pointed him. Um, and then it was actually solid here, um, so all around. Rockstar was able to uh, gain a spot on Justin Shack, and Justin Shack, as well, is now the person on the cut line to get relegated. Liam, all these guys back here are currently out of it. Honestly, 
I would honestly say that Napa on back have no cho uh, no chance yet right now. There is five races left in the season, folks. And because of that, I think uh, anyone on back is going to be relegated to the Xfinity Series. Should, unless something crazy happens. And who knows? Uh, the way that this season has uh, has gone so far, who knows? Um, but yeah, that is the big ones out of that. So, um, because of that, we have um, a big swing in terms of um, the power rankings. But first, I want to look into the stats here. Um, Cyber with his, his lowest finish on the season, you know, first... All the way, his string of podiums, which was broke at Michigan. Uh, pardon me, sorry, it was Bristol where you finished 6th uh, and not 8th. Um, Michigan, and then all oh, that back on the podium. And then Road America was 10th, and then Iowa 5th, and then 21st. That leaves him with a 4.9 average finish, which is more... It's still the best in the field, but it's better uh, for, like, someone trying to chase on down, like, Xander here. Uh, Xander, 5.4 average finish. However, they both are tied with a, a third average start, so I thought that was funny when I was making these stats. Um, but yeah, honestly, another one that really strikes me is you can see the parity in, like, all those in the 8th and ninth, uh, respectively, uh, average finish. So you have BD, you have, uh, Brandon, you have Napa, you have um, Goose who has a 9.8. Um, however, you also see those with the five right down here. You have um, P. Cola when he, when he does show up. Packers consistently has shown up and has a roughly about a six uh, average finish. Xander, obviously, 5.4. UK with 5.2. So, weirdly enough, UK actually has the best average finish. Um, he just has missed... Well, technically, he's missed four races, two of which were last place points, which for all accounts, I call those missing races as well. It's like same thing with Cade down here. Cade um, has seven uh, last place points finishes. However, he has a, when he does show up his um, and actually turns up his engine, it's 9.5 average. He's roughly going to finish ninth, roughly. So because of that, I want to take a look at um, the power rankings and coming out of a super speedway, it's so hard to uh, look at and judge at what is to come uh, because Kansas is up next. Kansas is the track that we're going to be at for this week, and we are going to make it um, a low draft race. So people will be racing with very little draft, and it's going to be all about talent and who can have the best setup and not get loose. So that will be key. So it's going to be low draft at Kansas, and I think the person that is best equipped to deal with Kansas, I feel, is going to be Xander. I think Xander is going to be the first person I'm going to look for to snag a win coming out of Kansas. And because of that, if he can, that will be his sixth win on the season. However, because of that, in the same token, I don't know because I'm hearing rumors that people won't be showing up. Um, not every, not like, but like the big ones that I would normally put on this list uh, are not going to be showing up. Um, I hear that Nathan is not going to show up. Um, his his second child is about to be born right now, so he is going to be well probably out of the seat for a little bit and that may shake things up as well um nathan of course you know life takes priority over a hobby so thoughts and prayers to him uh hopefully his wife um does well because she's going to be induced this friday um checked into the hospital so hopefully everything goes well um thoughts and prayers with him uh, Brandon as well, I heard, is not going to show up. So, people I normally put on here on this list, I can't quite put on here because I don't know if they're going to 100% show. Um, so, because of that, um, Xander, I think, takes number one. Um, at Kansas, I would have to expect number two 100% has to go to Cyber. I mean, despite 
uh, his 21st place finish at Daytona. It's a road... It's not a road course. Blah. It's a super speedway. People finish... Hell, like 25th at super speedways and then win the next race. Super speedways are crapshoots. So because of that, I think Cyber has the Napa know-how. And just the still, the stat line is godly. And his average finish for super speedways... I mean, just look at... Um, Vegas. He finished second there. I'm not saying Vegas is like a one for one for Kansas, but when it comes to mile and a half, uh, second, third, second, and that's it so far. Um, we've done three mile and a half, and they've all been on the podium. I have to say Xander is um, Xander's number one, but the only reason why these stats right here are different is because. Um, Charlotte, he didn't race. Uh, Vegas, he sped. Kentucky, he sped. He's had the fastest car both times, but Cyber has had the most consistent. So, if it came down to speed, Xander has it. But if it came down to hitting your marks and just 100% getting there, Cyber. So, that's why they're, these two are, I would have to say these two are probably interchangeable. But I say Cyber, I'm going to settle with him for P2. Um, P3, UK. 100% UK. <laughs> UK Mo Powcat has shown that he deserves to be in here, despite how he says, oh, you know, I'm not the best car in the field, and blah, whatever. Fourth at Vegas. Um, he actually also finished fourth at Charlotte, and he did not race Kentucky. Um, but, but, I think his stat line everywhere else, and just how he is, he's kind of one of those... Uh, slow burn uh, type of drivers. Um, yes, it'll take about maybe half a run to kind of get acclimated to the track, but he will be there at the end, and I expect UK to be fighting for the win on Saturday. UK, third in the power rankings. Um, number four, I would have to say, again, I don't know if uh, they will actually be able to show that's why I'm going to go with the people that I know 100% are showing. Um, in fact, that's what the Dark Horses are for, in case I don't know if they, if they are going to show or not. Um, Packers. P3. Or is that? P4. Uh, Packers as well. Looking at the uh, previous mile and a half, uh, Vegas. Uh, he won. <laughs> it was good. Uh, he had a fantastic race. He had the Strat as well as the the speed in order to get there. He won at Vegas. Um, uh, Charlotte, P3. Again, a really long race. Relatively caution-free. And he was able to get there. Uh, Kentucky, he also won. Fuel strat. Now, the reason I'm saying why I'm putting him so far down here is because when it comes to these kind of races, uh, these races have been relative... Vegas was totally caution-free. Charlotte had like two three and kentucky had about four um so kentucky was actually able to uh get the fuel strat uh that he wanted to get to because all the cautions were like in the first half of the race um and then you have um charlotte like i said that had very little cautions and he was able to get up there and build that momentum packers is very much a driver that the longer the green flag goes the better he is and that just goes for any track. Now, you look at Michigan. It was a bit of a caution fest. Um, Bristol, not quite a caution fest, but just he got caught up in traffic. And then, obviously, Daytona. Um, these tracks, are like anywhere he doesn't finish in the top five were because there was too many cautions. He wasn't able to build that momentum. So, it depends on how many cautions we do get at Kansas. But I feel like Kansas will be a good track for him as well. So, P4 on this list. Packers. Now, um, I want to give the um, number five spot to a person that has moved forward so much and so consistently this season. Now, I know the stat line isn't the best, but Piper has been consistent this entire way. I mean, his stat line, roughly, he starts where he finishes. Um, and because of that, he was actually able to uh, get his, uh, well, four top tens throughout the season. However, I'm going to look at his um, intermediate track. So, top 10. Okay? Top 10. And just outside the top 10. Um, he is really consistent here. 
Now, Piper is one of those drivers that he kind of gets down on himself. He doesn't think he can hang with the big boys, and I disagree. I mean, uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, okay, I guess, I, yeah, it's over here. He doesn't get the P6 in the standings for doing nothing. He's consistent. Same thing with Goose. Uh, Goose is, spoiler alert, Goose is our uh, dark horse number one. I feel like Piper has a little bit of the edge at uh, Kansas because he ran in the race that was li in a very similar race that was a couple weeks ago. And he did really well. So, um, he ran at Kansas. He has the most recent experience. So I feel like Piper is going to be the number number five pick for this. And Goose... <gasps> pardon me. Sorry about that. And Goose is going to be the Dark Horse number one. Now to kind of go on from Goose uh, here. Goose, uh, when he ran at the um, Intermediates, P7. Okay? And then P15. P15 he lagged on out of, so that's why. But Kentucky is also P7. He's... He's a very consistent guy. Um, 9.8 on average finish, so he roughly finishes um, just inside the top 10. But uh, when it comes to uh, experience at Kansas and making sure you get the long runs going, uh, I feel like Piper has the slight edge, and that's why Piper is number five on this list, and Goose is the dark horse uh, pick for Kansas. Um, BD is going to be... The second to last uh, pick for our dark horses here. BD is one of those guys that is a kind of a swing or a miss when it comes to, um, or sorry, hit or miss, sorry. Um, when it comes to uh, super, not super speedways. Oh my God, I'm sorry, for, I'm tripping over my own words. Uh, intermediate, mile and a half, 11th at Vegas. He sped. No, sorry, he didn't speed. He had a uh, blend line violation. Um, and that totally took him out of the race. And then he did speed. Um, and then after that, Charlotte, P18. Uh, unfortunately, lagged out, had to leave. Um, and then P18 from there. Um, and then P6 at Kentucky. Just didn't have the strap. Didn't have the quite the speed that his teammate did. But he was actually able to get up there. Um, the teammate I'm talking about, P4, uh, finisher B right racing, Brandon. Um, so because of that, I think BD is going to be the second dark horse pick. Now... That doesn't mean that these dark horses, uh, you should watch them. Dark horse picks are going to be like, yeah, should things go right? They can snooker a win out of the out of these guys. But I will say that the dark horses are the ones that will be doing well. Watch for these guys up towards the front and as this race moves on. That's what I'm talking about. That's what the dark horse picks are about. Um, of course, I could be talking about Bass Buck, but I don't know if he's going to show. That's what I'm saying. Bass Buck, obviously, um, Rockstar as well, wherever he is. Rockstar as well could have an impact. Um, shoot, I mean, if MH does um, show up again, literally, that was basically last to first. Uh 24th out of 24 drivers finishing p3 if he shows look for mh up there all these guys i want to put in the dark horse but i don't know if they're going to show and that's what i'm talking about here but that was the mrl i guess technically race 12 and 13 brief recap of iowa um bass was on pole xander won and then daytona uh you have cyber on pole and then rockstar winning now you can see the parody of all of these guys here for the wins. These guys are locked into the All-Star Race. These guys are locked into the Bush Clash come next season. So that is going to be looking very, very good. And so, yeah, uh, let me know. Uh, leave a leave a like, comment. What do you guys think about the race? Um, I'm definitely looking forward to Kansas. Uh, that is where the Cup guys are going to be this coming Saturday. And this has been your host, Private Patton, for... MRL Fastlane, looking at the Cup Series this past week. Hopefully you guys have a good one, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.